Two years ago, Kermit Hobbs, a Suffolk history buff, was canvassing the Nansamon River at low tide for an old dugout canoe when he says he stumbled upon a row of relics. I went and got my drone, flew out over top of it, and I was amazed at what we saw. This is what Hobbs saw from a bird's eye view. Picture perfect remnants of old wooden boats hidden in plain sight. We believe this is one of the greatest assemblages of historic wrecks in Virginia. Uh, representing Chesapeake Bay maritime history for well over a century. His find piqued the interest of archaeologists from across the U.S. Now in Suffolk this month, excavating and recording the remains of this ghost fleet. From fishing boats, working craft, uh, boats engaged in various sorts of transportation, lumber, shingling, uh, probably some hunting, fishing. Uh, commercial fishing, oystering. High tide, as you see, is obstructing the view today, but it's at low tide when the group of archaeologists say Suffolk's maritime past is revealed. 13 boats varying from 50 to 80 feet in length. So far, the group has found the abandoned boats date back from the Civil War era to World War I. The maritime front door of Suffolk is important to remember. It's important to research. The archaeologists believe the boats could be part of an old oyster house, but uncovering the submerged secrets has just begun. For me, it's a real rarity to be able to find something that blows up this big. In Suffolk, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.